Hi everybody, Timothy Trespass, targeted individual. Just wanted to quickly uh, show you what I'm doing. I'm walking around everywhere looking for these little things. It's a Cuarto Pararenta, you know, and I'm walking from place to place to place to place in the middle of the night trying to find these papers. And I've been all up and down, up and down, up and down, and around. And as you can see, this is a great big place. I live in a great big world. Lots of lights, lots of people, lots of buildings, lots of stuff. Not so many of these, though. And as you notice, they're mostly all written in Spanish, a language which I don't speak so well. Anyway, uh... So I try to go out at least once every two evenings and walk, you know, around the, the general neighborhood where they post these things, looking for a place. You know, um, I got a big giant pocket full, a big pocket full of papers. And uh, tonight's garbage night, so all the gleaners are out gleaning what they can from the trash because as you know another person's trash is another person's treasure or whatever uh, most of my treasures I got from the trash si renta cuarto okay this one what we got here we got a couple of them the one on Knickerbocker this one here I've already spoke to him uh, and it was the perfect room, the perfect price, really nice guy, nice family, long term. Last guy was in that room for seven years. Only problem is, uh, somebody had a dog, it bit a kid, and the police came, and the landlord said, no more pets, no more lawsuits. And so because we have a cat, we can't, uh, we can't have a... Okay, a bunch of criminals talking about their criminal enterprises and police chasing. I don't know. This is a crazy neighborhood. It's like halfway between fully gentrified rich white kids from Wisconsin who think they're artists, and some of them are, and and all the, the wheeler dealer hanger outers from the past neighborhood. Because Bushwick used to be like, from what I can tell, hardcore. What does this sign say? Let's see if I can even get it. Todos los vernes limpia something of washing all your cars for free or something. Anyway, we also have here, I don't know if you could see them. There was one right there on every lamp post. Um, almost on every lamp post there's like a, a New York City police jammy. You know, and they watch you with these New York City police jammies. Uh, that's it up there with the cameras looking down. But anyway, sometimes I get stopped by the police for walking around looking for a room. In fact, the patron and I almost got arrested uh, when we first moved into the neighborhood. Because there wasn't that many white people here. And of course, we look like we must be on drugs or crazy or some kind of criminals or terrorists or something, you know, because we're all sickly looking and uh, more gallons ate us up. And, uh, you know, these cops were following us everywhere because we're going up every street, up and down every street, looking in every window for a sign that says room for rent. Isn't that what you do? Uh, they weren't hearing it. Anyway, that's another story. So. The pressure of this thing, not knowing when this guy is going to go to court. I mean, he's already got the shit in the works for the court, I'm sure. And the promise of money that we probably won't get, but would make everything easier. And, you know, it's like, okay, you're going to give us $2,000. What good is it if we have nowhere to go? You know, you can spend $2,000 in a hotel. We could spend, what, a week maybe in a hotel? That's about it. But, uh, so... You know, on one hand, it's like, yes, I would like the money. The carrot is good. The carrot is good. 
but he's got the stick too, you know. Oh, we're gonna get that court. And once we go to court, you won't get any money, and you're gonna get the marshal and John and Jean Doe and blah blah blah. Like his lawyer told him, it takes a little longer than just getting them right out. It might be six months. And he called back and said, "Isn't there any way you can get out of there faster? How about going to a shelter?" I said, "You've never been in a shelter, have you?" He said, no. I said, well, they stole my shoes right off my feet in the shelter. You know, that's what happened. Right off my feet. Uh, I had another place I spent. There's another one for one person. They're always for one person. Oh, and here's the plate. Here's this poor little kitty. Can we see the poor kitty? Oh. Somebody else has to give their poor kitty away because their mean landlord won't let them have a cat. Because what? Because cats will chew your head off or something? I mean, <laughs> the worst thing you can get from a cat is a scratch or a toxoplasmosis, maybe, you know? Um, anyway, I used to actually live over here in this neighborhood, one of these houses over here, the patron I lived in. And boy, those people were mean, and boy, they were liars. I mean, they started out nice and everything, but then after the first month, oh, they came and stole some shit from us and whatever, even though they weren't supposed to have the key. Uh, but then they were like, oh, we have to move out. The landlord's making us move out. So I went to the landlord and I said, what's the deal? Are we moving out or are we not moving out? He said, I didn't hear anything about this moving out. I said, well, you know, I'm afraid to give these guys money if they're, t you know, so the whole thing ended up that we had to move out. They claimed everybody was moving out. But a, a few days later, I saw them advertising these things again, room for rent, same number, same place, same guys. So you tell me, you know? It's like, we, we mind our business. We're quiet, we don't have a whole lot of friends come over. You know, we don't do anything. We, we, we do our art, we, we work on the internet, I sleep, I suffer, you know? And look for a place to live. It's pretty much what I do, and pray, and think, and whatever, you know? Um, anyway, just one of those things. They weren't so nice, and it keeps happening. You know, this is the place here, the store they owned, and this place they owned, and this is the place they owned. I guess they figured, like, they owned. This is where we lived, right here, on the second floor. I guess they figured, because they own shit, you know, it's like their castle or something. There's a lot of that, man, you know? The last place... The guy was telling us that, uh, oh, it's a really nice place. Everybody knows each other. Nobody drinks. Nobody smokes. And nobody has pets. And we're thinking to ourselves, uh, do we really want... Do we really want... Now, see, I don't know how old any of these things are, right? They could be up here, and they could be up here for months, and you would have no idea because there's no dates on them. You know, usually they get plastered over and... Uh, and sometimes... Uh, you know, they're just they're like layers upon layers upon layers. I don't know if they're any good, but I'm taking them anyway. I can't remember what I was just talking about. See, that's the Morgellons, the brain fop. They, they, they've damaged my brain and my memory is getting worse. My short-term memory I can barely remember what I'm talking about. Whereas a year ago, uh, my conversations were much more high level. I could remember what I'm talking about many steps removed from the actual point and return to it after circumlocuting uh, to... Anyway, my vocabulary is shot too. I used to have a great vocabulary. Anyway, enough, enough. Have I gone far enough? I've walked all the way down here, all the way down there. This is Green Street. I'm gonna go back to Knickerbocker. Walk back down Knickerbocker on the other side. And that will be my two day, whatever. And then of course I gotta call this guy Joe or George or whatever his freaking name is. He doesn't tell me what his real name is. Because we promised we would keep him informed as to what is going on in the search. Of course, they're going to turn off the power again soon because they said, oh, we'll give you a week's worth of power. You know, what happens after that? We go back to the generator and the fire department and the police and the... I mean, 
you know, it's so weird. It's like, they did all this horrible shit, turn off the heat, the power, no bathroom, all that stuff to get us out. We said, fuck that, where are we gonna go? So we did what we had to do. And we were fine, we were surviving it. And I, I jump to the occasion, you know, even though I'm dying, the struggle for survival is still in my blood, you know? And, and we rose to the occasion, we were okay. And this pissed them off, they were like, hey, wait a minute. We're supposed to fuck shit up for them, and it's getting, you know, they're doing okay. What is this, <laughs> you know? So, of course, the fire department and all that stuff. Anyway, those are my thoughts. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice night.